The cold, forbidding waters of Loch Ness have become a global obsession. For centuries, people have claimed a monstrous creature lurks in its depths. Throughout the 18th and 19th century, mariners returned with similar tales of multi-humped, serpent-like monsters reaching hundreds of feet in length. The 30-foot oarfish is the only known species that comes close to their descriptions. But even these deep-sea giants can't undulate their body horizontally to create humps. So what was the truth behind the sea serpent claims on Loch Ness? Dr. Tom Davey manages the flow wave test tank at Edinburgh University. He knows just how extraordinary wave interactions can appear. Waves can combine to produce quite complex shapes. You can get quite uh, surprising shapes forming, even if they only exist for a brief period of time. Flow Wave's $16 million wave lab is one of the most sophisticated on Earth. The unique circular system is capable of replicating almost any wave environment at 1 20th the scale. This facility has been uh, constructed primarily to look at behaviours in real ocean conditions. Uh, today we're going to do something a bit different and perhaps look at what may have been observed in Loch Ness. One of the factors contributing to bizarre wave formations on Loch Ness is its profile. The steep, rocky sides encourage waves to be reflected in different directions. Waves from multiple directions can combine to produce uh, particularly large waves. In a lab, we choose exactly when we're going to generate these waves and we determine where they're going to focus. In nature, they wouldn't get exactly the shape we see here, but the similar physics apply. Merging waves from different directions can result in astonishing formations, but even combining two waves can give rise to strange humped shapes. So if we have waves from opposite directions, we can build up a standing wave a sequence of humps which appear to stay still. Here we have two identical waves coming at exactly 90 degrees and where the crests uh, combine we get these humps forming and the relative motion of them as well uh, goes from right to left. You could get this over a small area for example if you had uh, two boat wakes combining. The humped shapes created at Flow Wave are all too similar to the sea serpent shaped monsters described on Loch Ness. <laughs> 